Oh, it's Santa. Santa. Oh my God. Santa's a dick. Welcome back to the channel guys, today we are playing Midnight Tales Volume 3 Christmas Edition. So, as you may be aware, this is a 616 game. Um, I believe this is a, like, annual thing, but it was called something else for the first two, two volumes. Um, it's basically three short horror stories. Particularly short, so, yeah, well, have a look, check it out. I don't know really what's going on here. I, I had to click history mode, not play game, so that was a little weird. I'm sure we're gonna find out. Okay, we can open that door. Well, this is a particularly depressing living room. Oh, look. Hmm, excellent. I'm going to tell Sophie a story. Please don't tell me that's your daughter, bruh. Because if it is, you're a fucking monster. Let me guess. Sophie's room. Uh. Should she be standing there like that? That's really weird, bruh. Merry Christmas, C Christmas, my daughter. Daddy will read you stories. Okay. So let's start our night of Christmas terror with the first story. What the fuck's wrong with our daughter's face? The doll. It's about a girl who hated Christmas and needed lesson. Well, that was a little bit fast. Okay. I'm glad you're enjoying the work. Thanks for taking the job today. It's Christmas, people coming. It's Christmas. People come in and go in. This is very profitable for the gas station. Yeah, I don't think people are going to be sitting there doing that. I don't care much for Christmas. I need money because Santa Claus won't pay my bills. Thank you, Kate. I found this Santa Claus doll thrown in the trash. People throw everything away. They don't value their money. I confess, he's a little scary, but I'll be fine. Uh, but I'll be fine, Mr. Karim. All oh, right. Okay. Yeah, that's us. Okay. Now I have to go. My family is waiting. Merry Christmas, Kate. See you later, Mr. Karim. Okay. He's not that scary. You know, the black, you know, soulless eyes, yeah. But it's not that bad. Uh, I take it back. Santa just standing there. Lifeless. Very creepy. Um, I'm kind of confused. We're just sitting around doing nothing, Bree. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hello! How are you? Okay, I'll go in here and wait. Hello, sir. How are you today? Why, is the, why do they all walk like they're in slow fucking motion, bruh? Merry Christmas, girl. It's just another normal day, sir. How can I help you? Do not say that. Christmas is a day to help people be more human. I love the magic of Christmas. I'm happy for you, sir. Can I help you with anything? Ten bucks on pump two, please. Oh. Okay. No problem, Brett. Have a good day. <sighs> Hard work. Hey, Sant. How you doing, bud? Bro, that thing's gonna move. I bet you. It's gonna fucking move. Trash cans are full. I'm going to empty them. Okay. Uh, in the middle of Christmas, and I'm picking up this disgusting garbage. Well, you don't seem to be too particularly impressed with Christmas anyway, love, so... Does it matter? I'm gonna come back here, and that bass is gonna be gone. I bet you any money. Anything with doll shit, that's what it is. And I can guarantee you, that fat bastard is going to be no exemption. Bet you on me, watch. Disgusting, this stinks a lot. Okay. 
Okay. Okay, I was wrong. I was wrong. Oh, is there someone coming? Oh my Jesus. What the fuck on earth are you? Have you had an experience with a poop killer? Merry Christmas, young lady. Could you help an old man who is hungry? Hello, sir. I'm sorry I'm working. Please. I'm very hungry. I just need something to feed me. I'm sorry, sir. I can't. My boss is very strict with his money. Where is your, where's your Christmas spirit? Christmas spirit? Today is just another ordinary day. Now go away. Whoa. Why did the tempo just change? Uh, excuse me, bruh. Excuse me. Fuck off. Is he slapping his belly? Just smacking his belly. Smack that belly. That was one of the strangest things I've ever seen in my life. He was spanking Santa's belly. Yeah, I saw that as well, crazy old man. I saw it. I'm, I'm, I'm not stupid. I know he's probably put a curse on it. Just say. Bro, don't be moving your fucking head, mate. Listen, listen, you jolly old prick. I will fuck you up. I will fuck you up. So we're understood. Good boy. Customer. The doll is scary. Looks so real. I agree. My boss is a little crazy. I need gas. $10 on pump too. Alright. Do you need anything else? Thank you. Gasoline only. Good night and Merry Christmas. Thanks, ma'am. Have a good night. Ciao for now. Stop looking at me. Go away. Why is everyone creepy? Bro. Bro. What did I just fucking tell you? Huh? What did I tell you about moving your head? You think I'm stupid, bruh? I know what you're doing. Don't start with me, alright? I'll have to... I swear to God. Where's a stick? Right? I fucking ram a stick up his ass. Can't move then. We'll just put the stick up his ass. Stick it to the ground. And then you're not gonna fucking move, bruh. Are you? You can move all your head you want. You're not going nowhere. Shit, that woman spilled gasoline on the floor. Gotta clean this up. Okay. There we go. What? We're good. Huh. I swear I saw that doll moving. It just... It must be the wind. I've been seeing it move for about the last 10 minutes, bruh. I'm just saying. Alright, bruh. Stop moving. Bruh. I like this game already, but I will say there is a lot of just waiting around for things to happen. That's a pain in the ass. Uh oh! Santa's gone! Bro, that took ages. I was running around. The dolls disappeared. It must be that damn beggar making fun of me. Yeah, I don't think it's the beggar, bro. Oh my Jesus Christ! I... Why? Please don't. Please don't. <laughs> it's Santa! Santa? Oh my God! Santa's a dick. It was a bit harsh though, weren't it? Like, you know, that beggar, he was a dick. Like, okay, yeah, because she didn't give him some food. It's like, oh yeah, I'm going to put this curse on Santa and I'm going to kill you. It's a great one, that is. Huh. I don't remember all them uh, beers being there last time. Definitely remember there being no flies. Oh, wow. 
Wow, why are we locking her in her room? Six, is that 676 or 616? There we go. 616 it was. Oh my god. I'm going to get the book to read a story to you. My dear daughter. Is she wearing a mask? And she's literally shit herself. Like, what kind of monster father are you? What's that say? Let's go to our second story. Our Christmas will be perfect. I don't think it's going to be per perfect, bro. Christmas dinner. Tells the story of two boys who got into where they didn't belong. Okay. Cool. <laughs> oh my god, the characters in this game. It's too cold, bro. Let's go get on with it. Marky. Are you sure this won't get us into trouble, man? Relax, bro. We need a small pine. If we don't have it, our boss will kill us. There are many pines here. No one will notice if one is gone. There are many pines here. No one will notice if one is gone. Why did he just copy me? Then you go and I'll wait for you here. I don't want to run into that crazy old man. You can stay there, you coward. I'll be back in a few minutes. I'm going to take a guess, bro, that you ain't going to be back in a couple of minutes. And I'm going to have to go looking for you. And then that crazy old man's going to kill me. Shit, I'm going to look for that asshole. Okay. Fucking hell. Like, I appreciate these games because he is one of the more unique, like, game devs out there. But the waiting is a little tedious. Fuck off, crows. Oh my Jesus! Oh! Why are you here? You're trespassing on my property. I'm sorry, sir. I'm just looking for my friend. You shouldn't be here. I'm calling the police. Please don't do this. I'm just looking for my friend. Your friend is not here. Go away or suffer the consequences. Okay, I'm going. Alright, bruh. Don't worry. I'll fucking go then. Shit. Where are you, Marky? I need to go back there and find him. Okay, we'll go all the way back again. Fucking great. Yeah, that's exactly what I want to be doing. Fucking pliers, flashlight. You're getting me all equipped, bro. I wonder fucking why. I love the fact that it was all just like... Waiting there for us. Alright then. Huh. I told you. He's in his basement strapped up to some sex machine. I bet you. Shit, there's a lot of blood here. Yeah, I know. And we're still going ahead with this. I'll be like, fuck my friend. His fault. Okay, door is locked. Clearly, we gotta go around the fucking back. Ah, uh, I should have known. So obvious. Underneath the blinking doormat like an idiot. Marky, where are you, man? Ah, we got eggs. Well, this is, uh... Oh, what? Yeah, our friend's dead, bruh. He's chow. Pull curtains. Uh, my god, Marky. I need to find the car keys and get out of here. Yeah, well, how do we find the car keys, bruh? Just saying. Oh, Marky's close. Okay, there we go. We got his close. Just get the fuck out of here, bruh. I need to get out of here. Yes, I know. It's funny that he killed Mark and then set us free. Why? You would just kill us both. More meat. Oh, oh my god. That fucking happened, didn't it? Hi. How are you? Mom and I were looking for company for Christmas dinner. Oh. Now let's eat and party like a good family. Oh. 
Mike, I thank God for the food and for our new friends. That was so reminiscent of, you know, uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Okay, let's see what's different today. Okay, there's a note on the table. Uh, okay, December 25th, 1988. A serious accident on Highway 315 left two dead. In the middle of Christmas Eve, a drunk driver hit a truck head on. The only survivor was the driver. His wife and daughter were in the car and couldn't resist. Res were in the car and couldn't resist. Couldn't resist what? Well, I'm starting to feel like a uh, a dear old daughter isn't very alive. Where was this? Oh wait, the the bathroom door's open. <gasps> oh my god! Getting the gist that my kid and uh, my wife are dead. Oh my! fuck is going on bruh she doesn't seem too dead to me kidnap hi dear daughter daddy come to read you another story we kidnapped a girl didn't we we kidnapped a girl that resembles our child and we're in trauma shit trash man this is the last story i know you love these stories my daughter yeah she got chains Super Trash Man tells the story of two men fighting over a toy on Christmas Eve. Oh, here we go. Uh, John, did you find the doll for our son? I'm in the last toy store I found all the other stores are sold out. You need to find this doll. Our son is sick because of a toy. Don't forget, the doll is Super Trash Man. If I don't find it in this store, I have nowhere else to look. It's the last door open. Don't go home without this doll. But she's a fucking asshole, isn't she, bruh? Oh, yeah, of course. This wanker's got it right here. Yeah. I'm gonna go speak to this guy. He goes, yes, sir. We just sold the last one. Welcome to the best toy store in the region. Please, sir. I need a specific toy. It's a doll. Super Trash Man. Oh, yes, of course. Everyone wants the Super Trash Man. But unfortunately, I'm out of stock. Please, my son is sick because of this doll. I'm sorry, sir. I sold the last one to that man out there. I'll go talk to him. I need this doll. I'm gonna get the... This is, uh, like that friggin' Annie, the Arnold Schwarzenegger film. The one with the superhero doll and two men were fighting over it. Please, let me know what the film is called in the comments, because that's gonna bug me like hell now. Good night, sir. Please, do you sell me this? Do you sell me this doll? My son is very sick, wanting this doll. Oh, I'm so sorry. If I come home without this doll, my wife will kill me. Please, I really need to get this the doll home. I'm sorry that won't be possible. Have a good night and Merry Christmas. Well, just take it, bro. Great. John, where are you? Our son has a fever. Did you find the doll? Hi, honey. I'm so sorry. A man brought the last doll in the store. I have nowhere else to look. You must get this doll, whatever the cost. I'll find a way. Be quick. Our son is in very bad shape. Listen, I understand this situation and all, but please give me some context. Why is the fucking kid ill because of a doll? Bro, give me the fucking doll. Listen, yeah. Right, you're gonna give me this doll. I'm gonna... I'll follow him. I need this doll. Okay. Jingle all the way. I think it's called Jingle all the way. I know, it's random. It might be Jingle all the way. It's Arnold Schwarzenegger, and he's looking for a doll for his kid, and another guy is trying to look for that same doll. They have this major massive argument about it and they they yeah this takes on a ho horror inspirational story of that i think 
Oh, we can literally interact with our car now. Oh, we're going to do this. We're playing the villain. Well, that's a nice little twist. I'm sorry. What? There's the doll, bro. Oh my god. That was bad. That was fucking bad. Over a fucking toy. Oh. I didn't expect that. Like I, I expected to kill him. But I didn't expect to kill them all. There's no more stories, bro. I fucking knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I fucking knew it. We are... Oh, I tried to move on, but you're not her. You're not my daughter. <sighs> what? Why are you going to make us do this? Like, why do I have to kill her? Can't I? Wow. Okay. I tried to be a good father, I gave you love, and you won't even look at me. Unfortunately, you don't look like her. Merry Christmas, Sophie. Bro, that's... Brutal! Wow. Wow. That was so good. Like, that was just so much more gritty and so much more to the gut, right? Yeah, than any game that I played by 616. Like, you know, they all have a com comedy element to them. And, you know, there is that little comedy element. But especially when you start to get into the end, you start having to play the evil person you know and playing you know shooting that family and then killing the person you kidnapped brutal and such a good story and such a way such a great way to adapt it like you know using three short stories to bring into one you know bigger story it's brilliant i love it honestly like this is why 616 is one of the best devs on itch because he makes some of the best content out there. But yeah, I think that's it guys. So please be sure to hit that subscribe button and that bell button to be notified when my videos go up next. Also, please be sure to hit me up with uh, a like and yeah, give me a comment. Tell me what you thought. I really enjoyed this and it was a lot more gritty than most of 616's games and I liked it. But yeah, thank you very much guys. Goodbye.